Hey guys, welcome back to Factorio. This is Eddie Man. Diggy Scenario, episode number four. The last episode, we did the ring around the market, uh, and it's been a little bit. Um, and I apologize about the lack of episodes we posted. Um, we kind of um, went on a tangent and played a bunch of another game for a while, um, but I'm back. And uh, let's get this show on the road. I went ahead and started closing closing this part of the ring. Um, and by digging all the space for us to use, um, we have to get some smelting um, built here. So the idea was to start building some smelting columns from the south going up north here. Um, and obviously we're going to start smelting iron because we have tons of it stockpiled here. Uh, so let's get this show on the road today, shall we? All right. So we're going to need a bunch of stone furnaces, right? So let's go ahead and make a couple of them. So that's 10. Let's make 20. Now the idea is to start around this area here. Now we have some iron here, right? I've been slowly mining this whole, like little bits of ore that I find when I was digging out. But we have these two miners here. Let's utilize and get all this. Yeah, we can get this. And ideally we can get this as well. Right? Um part of me just wants to go like this pretty much. For, <laughs> I know it looks ridiculous, but um do I want to reach out and get this? Yeah, you know what? We might as well, right? So let's get another miner going here. And we'll reach out and get as much as this as we can. We have some stone here, but we can always move the miner a little later on. Okay, I know that looks ridiculous, but I think this will be good. Yeah, I know this will be good. Now, we, we have a space of three here, right? So my plan is to lay down stone, right? So then we can go a distance of four. And let's do one more, right? Okay. We got all this stone cooking and we've been cooking stone like it's going out of style. But we don't have that much stone. Well, we do, I guess, but we do and we don't. Um, I'm still looking for that big stone patch that has not shown his ugly face yet. And I'm tired. I'm actually tired of of manually feeding all this all these stone engine uh, stone furnaces. So let's not do that and get on the show on the road like I mentioned. Okay, so with this four, we're gonna do this pattern here. One, two, three, four. And we're gonna follow this the whole way. Oh boy. Okay, let's do that for now. It looks like we're gonna need another row here of stone. Okay. Um, and then, but why though? You should be able to do four by four, right? One, two, three, four. Oh, it's the, it's one, two, three, four. No, because here it's one, two, three, and then the fourth one is the stone. One, two, three, four, and then the fifth one is the stone, right? One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, yeah, so why? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. 
So I should be able to technically do that. Two, three, four. Then why is it showing it's going to be a cave-in? I don't know. I don't know. Um, I don't want it to, though. The plan is, is to put two burners here, two furnaces here. And do I want to start this? Yeah, let's start this and then do skip one, obviously, for the pillar. And then we'll start this process here. One, two, three, four, and then you, and then again, those two guys, and then we're just going to make our, let's get some more belts going. Okay, so yeah, you see here we have some iron ore. In here. Well, we're going to have iron ore cooking in just a little bit. Okay. Okay, so we're going to have iron ore and um, coal on the on this belt here. So we don't have like a stable amount of coal. Um, in fact, I've been hand, hand placing coal in here for power, and I really, well, there was some coal down here, but this is scattered around. Um, so, if I just stop mining this like crazy, and then bring it all here and filter it someplace down over here by the market, and then I could bring, oh, I never powered this up, dynamic. Sorry about that. Okay. And then somehow get it filtered so then we can do half of the iron half of the coal. Okay. So right now let's just manually feed this up and we'll get smelting on the way here sort of properly. Okay. Again, it's going to be a slow process, but we'll get, we'll get it. We will definitely get it. And I need some more power poles. So we're going to buy some more wood. Ten more power poles. All right. So then we're gonna do. We're pretty much show the opposite here. Right. Because we're gonna get rid of this then. And then technically we can do. Like learning how to play the game again. <laughs> That's how I've been feeling like. This is a new challenge, right? Just a new challenge. Alright, so we're gonna need some more bricks here. that to make 10 of those okay. and then we'll fill all these 
these up here again. Boom, 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 boom. Oh yeah, and um, by the way, I can craft my own walls now. I forgot to mention that at the beginning of the episode. Uh, so I don't have to buy them from the market anymore. Thank goodness, right? <laughs> right. So yeah, this is going to end up being another setup here. Um, so we need more walls. We need smelted. Or bricks, should I say. Okay, and then this will be the start of our next smelting column. Or our first smelting column, that is. <clears throat> Yeah, I think I like this design. And technically we can close this wall in. Yeah. And then we'll do this is a set of of eight. We'll do another set of eight there. So that'll be eight sixteen smelters. Okay. Mm -mm. We'll do an iron. And then I need to make a little mini one here for stone. Get the stone going. This poor, this poor little inserter there. Right? <laughs> All right. We gotta make sure we get the copper going also, which we're gonna need to find more copper. There's some over here. Only seventeen count, huh? Oh, find a little bit more. What I need is a patch. I need like a copper patch. We are in desperate need of a copper patch. We are definitely in the desperate need of a copper patch. <clears throat> and we need to power all this on. You gotta remember to do that, right? Okay, um, am I tearing this down? Yeah, I could tear that down. Let's just add that bad boy to you here. Um, we'll do this and we'll do more stone. Okay. Power, power, power. Smelting with a purpose. That's the name of this game right now. Smelting with a purpose. So yeah, we got some iron on the belt here finally. And we'll finally be able to figure out what to do with that. <clears throat> uh, and there's no way to have filter inserters, so... And you, my friend, only have... like numbers left of stone. I'm not just gonna sit here and find all that on camera. Boy you guys did this. <laughs> okay, so we got the stone still being slowly made. Alright. <clears throat> Let's check the power because I have not checked that in a while. Oh boy. Um, yep. Make sure I get my five stacks in there. Okay. And they're not powering anything anymore, so I could take them down, repurpose them. And then we'll go get rid of 
this. So this is just going to be the game right now. It's just slowly getting some automation going on certain things. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and close some of these up. Just so that I have like stabi stability in places where I need it. Take those down here also. And we can get another section here. I like that. And then I need to figure out how to get the ores going here. Hey guys, I'm back. So, um, a little update. We went ahead and uh, didn't expand much with this iron smelting here. I did connect the second side here with iron ore. Um, whatever we were mining up here is now been all mined up for now. There might be some more resources underneath these, you know, underneath these rocks here that we might not know about yet. But we will tackle that at the time when it comes. I want to expand this one more. Uh, but I want this chest to be emptied out first. But it is a good place to throw like iron ore in the bin. To get it out of my inventory for now. So I might leave that for a little bit. We did find some copper as you can see here to the west. Oh, now this mine is done too. Okay. Um, so this looks like it's going to be like a copper vine or something. And again, it's going to be the mixed ore. Some rocks. Some, you know, the uh, coal mixed in. But that's fine. That's what you would normally kind of find in a cave like this, right? So you wouldn't find uh, resources all, you know, one type. You, you would, in the real world, you would find it mixed like this. So, I like the realism. Well, close to realism as it's going to be. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and dig some more of this out here. This is what I've been working on the last couple of minutes or so. <clears throat> let's see. The bad thing, though, is that the biter is, like, up here. Um, I might want to get a, another turret closer. Alright, so we don't have to worry about biters here. Let's move this turret. And let's place this one here for now. Okay. We'll go ahead and build 20 in there. Sounds about right. Thank you all to save. We always like to show your ugly head all the time, but it's good though, right? We need that. Alright. So this looks like it's going to be the, oh, uh, maybe not. Maybe this won't be the ending of this vine here. The feeling of brighter is going to appear. Let's go ahead and put some more pillars in. Get this, at least one more pillar here, come on. Maybe we can stop mining some of this copper up. And then we need to figure out what we're gonna how we're gonna route this. Okay, so we have the copper mining here, right? I was thinking maybe run a belt here and then down, right? And then sneak it through here and then do some kind of filtering here. Um, eventually this section here will have like a little pathway or runway here. We can run some belts up with um or that's already been um, filtered out. And then I want to put a copper smelting here between these pillars. So we're going to have to mine some of this out as well, too. Uh, so I got some work ahead of me. I think uh, I'll keep you guys 
I'll keep you guys here for a little bit just to see what I've been doing. And I've been, you know, manually feeding all these machines still. I've got a lot of green circuits to work with here, so that's good. It's almost like cheating, right? <laughs> Um, I wanted to look at research. Uh, we want to unlock logistics. So let's go ahead and handcraft those 20 packs here. I know I can make them. That's 5, 10, 15, 20. Okay, so we'll handcraft those and then we'll do logistics. Alright. any more copper ore I do here. Well, I have plenty now, but well, I should have just grabbed it all, right? That didn't make sense to do that. <clears throat> Alright. So I think this coal here, right? this is the last coal miner, right? Yeah. I think I'm going to retire this. It's just eating up precious coal. And then we can do a oh yeah, I could do this, right? So let's put this guy here then. With power pole there. That actually will be better suit for mining. So yeah, I'm going to manually be feeding coal in these for now until we can get logistics going and get a proper um, filtering of ores, which is what we're going to be working on now. We're going to need logistics. So let's do all these packs in here. Uh, let's activate logistics. Let's research that. And then the next pack I want to do is, that's a lot of red circuit red science packs we're gonna need to automate that for that but I do want to unlock we're gonna need to eventually unlock green or logistics science packs and steel processing it or actually all this um, so let's just research logistics and then get red red science automated and then we'll continue with the science at that point we need to get red Red science automated, and then we need to get this ore filtering system up and running so we can start mining at a better pace. And I can stop hand feeding all these furnaces. It's, it's been slowing me down. Oh boy. Alright. So, yeah, that's. Coal. We got more coal here, which is good. More coal there, which is excellent. Oh, this only has 61 left. This is going to die out soon. Ready? I just placed those two not too long ago. <coughs> Alright, let's get some more of this out of the way. Because eventually we're going to need to increase our power, right? We're eventually going to need this space carved out. The power is, yeah, we're, we're using, uh, let's get about a quarter. I was going to say a third, but a third is a little bigger than that on the ball. <laughs> So smelt, smelting with a purpose, right? So the purpose is, right now, is red science packs. Um, so since um, since I haven't released an episode in a while, we'll go ahead and run this episode a little bit longer than my target 20 to 25 minutes. I do want to get automated red science packs done this episode. That's the goal. Um, so I'll get 
going with that. Well, I just wanted to mine some of this out as I was talking to you guys about my plan. Just my luck, right? A biter will pop out. There you go. Oh, spitters. That was the first spitter. Oh boy, we got spitters now. Whew, I jinxed it, right? I went ahead and jinxed it. Is a worm. if I could take that worm right now. There we go. Oof. All right, I lost a steam engine, but we can get that back easily. We can get that back easily. So that um, count as my first like battle with the writers. I pretty much in this scenario, pretty much yes, yes indeed. Whew. <laughs> Still uh, a little shaken about it, but that's fine. That's fine. All right, we got those packs for logistics, and then once logistics comes in, we can start working on getting filters going on and such using the. Splitters. So yeah, this is going to be a, like I said, now next area for power. I knew it. Whew. I just up here. Big uh, carcasses for worms. I don't know if it's because of my power plant or it's just strategically placed there. Who knows? Because there's no, there's no uh, pollution. Pollution's been turned off in this scenario. So I think, I think that's going to be good for that. Let's go reset this turret and put it here. I get some more ammo being made here. Do that. Pick that up. I'm not going to waste that anymore. Okay. I guess it didn't. Okay. <clears throat> Pick this turret up. It's good that we have that little area now with what stuff I have to mine, right? Logistics is just about done here. Okay. Research complete. All right, we can pick that up now, and we can try to pick that up. We don't have space, inventory space. Um. All right, why not? Let's just put it here for now, and then we will figure this out. Okay, so we have a power pole. Okay. The 
this, this. I think we have room for this. And the power plug goes there. All right. Just get two more chests. So we have uh, copper plates in the middle chest here, and then we have let's make ten of those inserter, inserter, feeding the copper plates into these assemblers, which are going to be the red sides, automated sides back here. Okay, and then we're going to feed this and that power. Okay. Then we have this and this, I believe. This is cool how this is fitting. It's like perfect. <laughs> All right, so we have two gears here. We have a gear and we have a gear, and then we have in, out, and out, and we're going to need more inserters. chests our power is supposed to go there but we can put power here and it connects fine okay so we don't we want more than two stacks and then here we want um, Here we want our iron to come in. Okay. And I like to keep three stacks of that and two stacks of copper in here for the red science pack. Yeah, for the red science packs. All right. Um, ideally, I wanted to connect smelting to this. But that's fine. There's no way to get the belts in here. Unless I do a long cannon insert it, that's fine. And I know I said I was gonna put copper smelting here and eventually it will. But we can blueprint this now and put this anywhere we really need it. Okay. So this episode we've gone ahead and got some iron smelting online, finally. Um, and we got red science packs automated and Let's go knock out a research, shall we? While we wait. In the meantime, I can do some digging. All the jazz, right?
know this wall situation I'm gonna have to figure it out because it's all out of whack and this is organized here for the smelting column which is good and we come in here as long as I don't have any cave-ins to be honest with you I really don't care at this point okay <clears throat> um, do we have any nonsense items nope no. I've already put them over by power because that's where we're gonna need them to figure out what I'm going to do with all this iron ore because <laughs> clearly I have so much of it um, which is not a bad thing I'll just have to continue smelting it like I'm doing obviously but I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this episode here and know it's been a long one I know guys I hope you guys enjoy it as well as I enjoy making the episode. Um, again, we've gone ahead and gotten iron smelting online, and I've gone ahead and automated somewhat the red science bags. And uh, electronics is just about to be done, um, just in time for this episode to be over. Um, I want to thank you guys again for so much for joining me in this episode of Factorio. If you haven't yet, please consider throwing me a like for this video. It greatly helps me and the channel out. And if you would like to stay up with everything any man and stay up with um, when I you know, drop episodes and uh, posts and such, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel as well. But right now, thank you so much for joining me in this episode of Factorio. And like always, I'll see you guys next time. I almost forgot to record the ending of electronics being finished. Alright. Ooh, that was close. I totally forgot. I was researching. See you later, guys.